my name is Akansha and welcome to our channel. Before starting the video, like, share and subscribe to our channel. Don't forget to follow us on Instagram at the rate hunger plans. Also click on the bell icon to get all the first notifications. For the base, I have 1 cup of digestive biscuit. To that, add 1 third cup of melted butter. Mix and add it into tart mold. I couldn't find my tart base, so I lined it with baking paper and foil paper from the outside as well. Add the crumbs and level it out. In total, I had a 2 and a half packet of Nutri-Choice. Let it set in the refrigerator for 30 minutes. In a bowl, I added 1 cup of hung curd. Whisk it a bit. In that, I sifted half cup of powdered sugar. 1 tablespoon of the Ruabza syrup, 1 4 teaspoon of rose essence, 1 tablespoon chopped nuts. Mix it. Add the mixture on the set tart base. Now I'm going to set it in the refrigerator for at least 2 hours. Let's demold it. Okay, the tart shell didn't come out as a whole, but it's fine. It's very beautiful. I'm going to garnish it with dried rose petals and chopped nuts. That is looking so pretty. It's definitely one of the prettiest desserts I've ever seen. I'm placing two packets of Palaji biscuits on a steamer. I'm going to let it steam for 10 to 15 minutes. Once it's done, take it out into a bowl and crush it. Bowl chota pad gaya, so I changed it. Then I added a lot of chocolate syrup. And I'm going to knead it into a semi-soft dough. Once you get this consistency, keep it aside. Then in a bowl, I added half cup of milk powder and mix it with half cup of milk. Whisk it well and add it into a pan. Now I'm going to let it cook while stirring continuously until it thickens and gets to this consistency. Then place a butter paper and over that place the biscuit dough. Place another butter paper over it and roll it flat using a rolling pin up to half inch thickness sheet. Then apply the rub DV made all over it. Spread it out evenly. Then cut out the excess edges and start rolling it like so. Use butter paper to get a tight roll. Then wrap it into the same paper and refrigerate it for at least an hour. Let's take it out. Looks quite set. Now I'm going to cut it into thin slices and just look at how beautiful these cuts are. This Palaji Swiss roll looks amazing. Add 50 grams of butter in a bowl. To that add 17 grams of powdered sugar. I'm saving the sugar to avoid lumps. Then whip it to combine it. Then we have to see 48 grams of custard powder and 45 grams of refined flour. Again, I'm going to sieve it to avoid lumps and pass air. Whip it. Then transfer it into a piping bag with a nozzle. Apply butter on a baking paper. Pipe out the batter in spiral shape. Make as many cookies as you want. Bake for 12 minutes at 180 degrees Celsius and your custard cookies are ready. Looks good and vibrant. In a blender, I'm adding half cup of cashew nuts, then grind it into fine powder. Sieve it into a bowl. Now in the bowl, I'm going to add 1 4 cup of powdered sugar, 1 tablespoon milk powder and a pinch of elaichi powder. Mix it. Then in another bowl, add a pinch of green color and 2 to 3 tablespoon of hot water. Mix it. And add only 1 teaspoon of this green water into the bigger bowl. Mix and knead it into a soft dough. Divide it into ball sized portions and keep it aside. Now for the filling, add chopped nuts into gulkan and mix it well. Now place the dough between a baking paper and roll it flat using a rolling pin. Zada flat mat karna. Now take any bowl and cut a round shape out of it. Further, I'm going to cut it with knife into quarters. Now take one quarter and roll it like so, almost like a flour. Then fill it with the gulkan mixture. Repeat the same for the remaining mixture. I applied some silver varak as well. And just look at that. Actually looks like a mini pan. And the taste, oh my god, it is so good. 
I added one fourth cut peeled papaya in a blender. Grind it into smooth consistency. In the pan, add half tablespoon ghee. I added one cup papaya puree. Cook it for five minutes. Then add half cup of mawa, which is koya. Mix it in. Then add half cup of sugar and keep mixing for 20 to 30 minutes until it turns glossy and thick like so. Now add half teaspoon of cardamom that is elaichi powder, 1 teaspoon of chopped nuts and 1 tablespoon of milk powder. Mix it all together and transfer it into any tray lined with baking paper. Spread it out evenly. Place chopped nuts on top and let it set for 20 minutes. In total, it took three to four hours for the barfi to set completely. Cut into square shape. Remove the baking paper. This is honestly the best dessert I had in the longest. It is so good, perfectly sweet, and very refreshing for some reason. First, cut the edges of five bread slices. Then cut it into four pieces like so. Pelle cut it into half, then into quarters. Then I'm going to deep fry the bread from both the sides until it's brown. Take it out and place it on the wire rack so that excess oil drips down. Then in the pan, add 110 grams of sugar and 60 ml of water. Now mix and let the sugar melt completely. Then I'm going to add the fried bread into it and soak it for a minute or two on one side. Then flip and soak again. Remove it out on a wire rack and let the excess syrup drip down. Now in a pan, add 125 ml of milk, 30 grams of milk powder, and whisk till there are no lumps. Then add one tablespoon ghee and whisk. Now add the remaining sugar syrup into it, जो मेरा पूरा almost set हो गया था. But anyway, I'm going to whisk it in as well. Then keep stirring with a spatula till it thickens. And it should start leaving the pan. Then turn off the flame and take it out. Now for the assembly, take the fried bread. Apply the milk mixture we made, which is actually a rubbi. Close it with another bread slice. Remove the excess filling from the sides to make it really perfect. And just look at how cute these toasts look. Cut the edges of a bread slice. Then in a the pan, add one cup of milk, and here I have caramel pudding premix. I'm adding half the packet. Once it's thickened, switch off the flame and keep it aside. Now place the bread we cut, forming the bottom layer. Then add the custard we made over it. We have to refrigerate it for one hour. Till then, add half cup of fresh cream into a bowl and whisk it for a minute. To that, add two tablespoons of condensed milk and two tablespoons of powdered sugar. Mix it well. Add it on top of the set custard and let it set again for more one hour. After an hour, take the caramel sauce and drizzle it over the cream. You can decorate it however you like. So just make zigzag lines of the caramel and then take a toothpick and just make lines like so. Looks really pretty. Refrigerate it until it's completely set. Which took me six to eight hours. Let's cut a piece now and see. Wow, that set perfectly. I can see three distinct layers, which is amazing. If you want to shout out, all you have to do is subscribe to our channel, follow us on Instagram at the Read Hunger Plan, and comment on this video telling me that you have. Thank you for watching, and stay tuned for more amazing videos.